Hello fellow geeks, in this video we are going to take a look at the Xiaomi Mi Watch Lite, also known as the Redmi Watch. It's a simple smartwatch with activity tracking, heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking and it also has its very own built-in GPS. Just like its other products, Xiaomi has gone for the minimalist package design and it comes in a simple sleek black box with a picture of the watch on the front, the specifications and some of its main features at the back. Xiaomi is known for its good quality for its budget price. So it would be interesting to see how their watches will do. In the box, we get the watch itself, a small manual and its proprietary charging dock with a USB type A at one end. It doesn't come with its own charging plug, but you can connect the dock with a USB plug or a portable charger to charge the watch. The charging dock itself is not the magnetic type and rather you will need to snap the watch to it to charge the watch. In charging mode, you can orient the watch on the side and it turns into a neat looking clock that you can set on your table which is a nice feature. The user manual is quite simple and has multiple languages. It covers the basic needs to set it up and how to navigate through the menus. Anyway, it's not a complicated watch so it's easy to figure out even without using the manual. The watch has a rectangular shape with curved bezels and it looks very nice and sporty, especially for such a low price. On the back, we have the heart rate sensor and the contact points for charging. The overall material of the watch is made out of a rubbery TPU material, which makes it very lightweight, weighing only 34 grams. Regarding sensors, we have an accelerometer for counting steps, a heart rate sensor for measuring heart rate, gyroscope for motion data, an electronic compass, barometric pressure sensor, and an ambient light sensor. You also get GPS and GLONASS satellite positioning for fitness tracking. On the right side of the watch is a push button, which is mostly used to turn on the display, but it also works as a back button. The bands are made of silicone and the buckle is made out of polycarbonate plastic, which is durable and doesn't feel brittle. They are flexible and comfortable to wear and they have quick release pins to easily change straps. The watch has a waterproof ATM rating of 5 atmospheres and is also water resistant to up to 50 meters in depth for 10 minutes and suitable for low velocity, shallow water activities like swimming or washing your hands. Regarding battery life, by default, it can last up to 9 days and depending on your usage, it could vary. In my test, I had everything on the whole time and the screen at 100% brightness. It lasted me about 8 days, which is pretty decent for a smartwatch at this price. Setting up the watch is very easy. Simply turn on the watch and scan the QR code on the screen. On my iPhone, this sends me directly to the Xiaomi Wear Lite app and the Apple App Store. It is also compatible with Android phones. All we need to do now is to set up an account and when that's done, head over to Profile and Add Device. The watch should pop up by itself, so all we need to do is to select it and accept the pairing. And that's all there is to it. We can start using the watch. It's not a big watch, so it sits nicely on the wrist. And the bands are very comfortable. The display will automatically switch on when we turn the wrist. And it's got a 1.4 inch display with a resolution of 320 by 320 pixels with a pixel density of 323 ppi. It looks very good. The fonts look sharp and has good black levels. It's also got Bluetooth 5, so I haven't had any problems with the connection at all. On the main screen with the default watch face, we have all the necessary information like time, day, date, calorie loss, battery life, heart rate and steps taken. If you don't like this watch face, you can change it by holding on the screen. Here's an analog one. The subdials are coloured differently, each of them showing the corresponding data. Here's another one with a nice orange theme that shows both analog and digital. This is a simple analog watch face that shows less information. You can also save and transfer watch faces from the Xiaomi Wear Lite app, and it has different watch faces to match your style. Gestures are also included in this watch. Swiping down will bring you to the recent notifications panel. Swiping left and right will cycle through widgets such as your last played music, heart rate monitor, fitness tracker and more. 
Swiping up will show a quick toggle settings menu where you can activate the watch's flashlight mode, raise to wake up, a lock mode, do not disturb mode, a mode to leave your watch awake for 5 minutes, and a gear icon which should take us to the watch settings. In the watch settings, there are a few settings that we've seen on the quick toggle menu. Here, you can select watch face designs, you can manually adjust your screen brightness or just leave it at auto adjust and activate do not disturb mode. The ND mode can be set manually, which is very good. It's not always fun to get notifications in the middle of the night, so all watches should have this function. You can also enable and disable heart rate monitoring here, as well as additional functions like setting the intervals to monitor your heart rate. If you want to save some battery, you can deactivate the heart monitoring function. Head to system settings, you will find the power off and reset functions. Pressing the function button will bring up the main menu. It consists of all the watch's apps and functions. The main menu is simple and it's not scrollable and swiping it changes to the next page. Unfortunately though, you can't download more apps to the watch. Starting with the workout app, this app helps you to record particular workouts such as running on the treadmill, outdoor running, swimming and more. To start an activity, we first get the 3 seconds countdown timer so we can get ready. In the activity panel, we can see the time spent, heart rate, distance and the amount of steps you have taken. We don't get any more information about the activity, so all we can do from here is to pause it or finish it. A neat feature about this app is that you can set your goals such as the distance you would like to run the amount of calories you would like to lose, or the amount of time you want to spend running. Next is the activity app, which shows a summary record of recent activities. This is where you can also find additional details about your summary record, like your heart rate and how intense or light your workout was. We also have a stats app, which shows a summary of calories burned, steps taken, and times where you have spent standing. Swiping up gives you even further information and details, including ideal daily goals and activities throughout the day. Next, we have the sleep app, which shows us a simple view of your sleep data showing the night's deep sleep, light sleep, and total sleep. We also have a breathing app, which is a meditative app, and we can choose between 1 to 5 minutes, as well as setting your breathing speed. This works the same way as on some other watches, with an animation, text, and vibration prompts to tell us when to breathe in and breathe out. A good little guide for relaxing and breathing. The Xiaomi Watch Lite also boasts outdoor apps such as an inbuilt compass and a barometric air pressure app which is ideal for trekking and camping. The music app is compatible with most music players. I've used Tidal with no hiccups. It has basic remote functions such as playing the next and previous song, play, and pause as well as controlling your music volume. It also shows the title of the song you're currently playing which makes it convenient so you don't have to whip out your phone all the time. It also has basic functions such as an alarm mode where you can set multiple alarms and have it repeat throughout the days in the week. And with that, you will only get a few vibrations on your wrist. You will notice some lag especially when setting a timer or an alarm so scrolling to get the right numbers winds up being too laggy which makes it difficult to get the settings right. The alarm will repeat itself after 10 minutes, just like a snooze button. And you can dismiss the alarm by pressing the function button. There's also a timer mode, which can be set from 1, 2, 3, and 5 minutes. And you can also set your own custom timer. There's also a stopwatch mode, which allows you to start, stop, resume, pause, and even has a lap function. The weather app has a simple UI, that shows the temperature and its current weather. Swiping down reveals the weekly forecast. We also have a notifications app. Here, we can see all of our notifications coming through our phone. We can also see that when it comes to scrolling, there is a little bit of lag and it can be quite annoying. When it comes to reading the notifications, the text is nice and clear and you are able to scroll down to read longer text. However, if the message is too long, it is not possible to read the whole message without taking out the phone. Next, let's give ourselves a phone call and see what happens. The watch does not have an inbuilt mic, and so it only allows us to reject the call. 
One feature that I like the most is the Find Phone app, which enables you to search for your phone as long as it is in Bluetooth range. To find your phone, tap the tap to search function and your phone will automatically beep. Great if you misplaced your phone somewhere else. Let's take a look at the Xiaomi Watch Lite phone app. The UI and data are easy to use and looks well thought out and planned. You get a more detailed view of your status such as your steps taken, calorie loss, your workout history, sleep data, heart monitoring and more. Tapping into the workout panel, you can get an overview of your data and you're able to monitor your location and progress on the map. This app is very useful, especially if you've forgotten to bring your watch. Tap onto profile and you can check on the device's setting. It will show our watch status and the watch faces panel, which you can source for more watch faces online. You can download and save it straight to your watch and it takes about a minute or so and the connection is steady. We also have a setting guide for iOS users and under app notifications, we can enable or disable notifications on the device. We also have a user guide and a help center to help you troubleshoot as well as information on how to use the apps on the watch. Under additional settings, we can manage and sort the widgets on the watch, receive weather updates, check for system updates, additional information about the device, as well as an unpair function. All in all, this is a lightweight and very sleek looking watch. A full charge gave me more than a full week of usage with everything switched on and always connected by Bluetooth. The display is bright and vibrant with a good resolution and for a cheap price, it looks more expensive than it is. It's a simple looking watch with a good amount of features and GPS. So the tracking data is useful and the graphs and charts are nicely presented in the phone app. Menu is simple and quick to navigate, and the apps in the watch are useful. But I wish we can add apps like Carrot Fit and other apps that can be downloaded. If you are looking for a smartwatch for daily use, minimal design, and offers a lot of features for its budget price, this watch is for you or can be used as a gift. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel and give us a like. Smash that bell icon so you can stay updated to our latest videos. Until then, this is Zaki from Geek Culture signing off. Adios!